Hi guys, this is a brief overview of the free logging program Log4OM, as in Log4OMAN. Right, there's plenty of logging programs out there. Some you pay for, some you don't. It's all down to personal preference in my opinion. I've downloaded a few, tried a few, scrapped them off. But uh, this one I seem to have stuck with this free free logging program support for log 4 m is also free there is a forum that you can go on if you're having any problems if you install this there's your forum you can post a post something on there you have to register first use your call sign if you're having a problem post them on there you'll often have a reply within 24 hours right but what I recommend you do first search box at top just put a search in any problem that you're having before you post anything as your problem may have already been answered with someone else having an issue okay so that'll save you time it'll save support time as well get okay, okay I did a presentation at Otley Amateur Radio Society on Log4OM been a member there since 2005 and there were quite a lot of interest, not from the newly licensed, not just from the newly licensed, sorry, but from people that's been licensed for quite a while too. I'm stood at the front with a lot of people in front of me and I can tell there's interest. They're not just uh, nodding off or playing with the phones or whatever. They really were focused on this. In fact, there's a new batch of about half a dozen or so new foundation licensees at Otley Amateur Radio Society. So I'll most likely do another presentation on Log4OM soon. Just before Christmas at the club, some of us took some radio, radio gear in. So newly licensed could have a look. As uh, most of you are aware, it's a bit of a maze out there in the world of amateur radio. You can buy anything from a £20 bio thing to an £8,000 icon and everything in between. So we took some gear along just to try and give the guys a bit of an idea. I took along my Yaso FT817ND and a laptop uh, and did a short demonstration on Log4OM and again there were quite a lot of interest. As I said this is only a brief overview, there's plenty of videos online, uh, they go into much greater detail, far greater detail than I am regarding Log4OM, just a little brief overview. Uh, one thing worth pointing out, if you already use a logging program, you can export your logbook, ADIF and it can be imported into log4om okay so that's the basic logbook screen um i have two transceivers i have two yesu ft817nds one i use for hf the other one i use for vhf uhf all modes of course if you look at the top right there you can see the frequency that's my hf radio 14.285 if you spin the bfo VFO, sorry, you'll see the frequency changing. So I'm on HF, I'm tuning around or I'm calling CQ and I'm working a few bits and bobs. And on 145500, I hear a SOTA station call because I am a SOTA chaser activator as well. If I want to change to the other radio, at the top there, I'm on rig one, simple click of a mouse, rig two, done. You can see that frequency's changed to 145500. So I call the SOTA station and he says, for instance, can you QSY to 450? No problem. There you go. 145, 450. It really is as quick as that. Changing from one radio to another, simple click of a mouse. And it's done. Um, also, worth for the new guys as well, just at the top here, um, if, easy if I do this on radio 2, 145, 500. If I go to a band, I'm on 137 megs there. It's flashed up with an out of band warning. So you know not to transmit there. To be fair, the radio won't let you transmit there anyway. But that's quite useful for those that are newly licensed, that are not 100% sure with band plans and things. Uh, if I insert a call sign into this box of a station, I'll put in someone I've not worked. Let's try that one. Tango Yankee 2 Bravo Papa If I just pop that in there You can notice his name's come up QTH Porto Novo His locator Juliet Juliet 16 Hotel Lima 
that's looked it up on qrz.com I do pay for a subscription on qrz.com for lookups call sign lookups it's not expensive um, although if you like you can use hamqth instead or even qrzcq there are some free ones you don't have to pay for one to get your lookups of all your information when you put a call sign in okay uh, what this also does this program if I do go to qrz.com that's my QRZ page Shack photograph a few bits and bobs and you can see there sorry it's flashing on air M0 RSF is on air 14.285 SSB using a Yesu FT817ND transceiver so there's no no hiding for me right back to this then let's uh, let's have a little uh, a little look the right hand side they've got the DX cluster running there okay you may notice call signs that's got little star before them now what they are the ones using the star they're people that use logbook of the world I don't use logbook of the world myself perhaps I should anything shown in red Corsica Australia Cayman Islands anything in red are DXCCs that I've not worked okay they're the ones that I've not worked new ones if you like in fact if I put the call sign in um, let's put Tango Kilo 5 Alpha Echo it does come up at the right hand side there with a new one new grid new band new mode so it tells me it's all new all right and again it's looked all these details up if I go to utilities statistics and awards and we have a little tab that's opened up there's all sorts in here I'll just run through a few briefly country status this is updated quite often as well your country's your iotas your sorters everything's updated I can run through these I'm having a chat with one of the locals on VHF and he says hey up Chris I've just worked Andorra well I can click on Andorra there and it's come up I can see who did you work there then in Andorra and he'll tell me a call sign I say oh, I worked that but I worked Charlie 37 uniform November on 30 meter Ritty okay so all, all your DXCs are there you've got the little uh, worked confirmed not worked for the different different colors click on another one Czech Republic um, tells you what I've worked on Czech Republic on 20 meter PSK 20 meter JT65 20 meter SSB you may notice a couple in there this is Czech Republic OK1ES OK 2 meter sideband 2 meter single sideband OK1TEH OK also 2 meter sideband Czech Republic on 2 meter SSB is quite interesting that was when there was sporadic E on 2 meters which is quite rare it does happen but not very often and I call my little socks off and work quite a few DXCCs to be fair uh, scroll down a little bit more what else have we got just picking a couple off at random off the top of my head um, I don't know Svalbard nice one our Juliet Whiskey 9 Juliet Kilo Alpha on 10 meter single sideband that's a nice one um, go down to the United States tab click on that one right I am a QRP operator those that know me I only run 5 watts or less I have worked 40 of the states of North America on 5 watts or less I'm trying to work them all I'm plodding on and you see at the bottom it says records found I've actually had 256 contacts into North America right 20 meter SSB PSK31 JT9 SSB there's all, all sorts of modes in there okay so I've worked quite a few uh, country map those are the countries I've worked yeah where the squares are Canada North America there my best DXE today is this chap down here I think it's CE4 SFG it's Chile 11,800 kilometers on 5 watts or less okay um, click on awards what have we got in here DXCC's I've worked 95 and you can see the ones I've worked here there's a big list you've got the bands across the top for instance Afghanistan worked that on 10 meters Albania I've worked that on 15 so W for work C for confirmed which for those that are not aware means I've got a QSL card for it 
okay I might be having a little chat to one of the locals and says Chris 50 megs would open the other day 6 meters have you done out on 6 meters I can click up there and I can click PACC 6 meters and say oh yeah I've done 25 DXCCs on 50 megs it's a great band and you can see what I've worked Austria confirmed Balearic Islands yeah a few more Croatia Czech Republic Estonia Germany we can have a look on there if I click on my DXCC on 2 meters I've actually had 13 great band lots of fun on 2 meter SSB okay so that's the DXCCs you can click on mixed I've done 95 altogether the IOTA tab we can see I've worked 44 IOTAs again you've got your worked and your confirmed for instance Canary Islands uh, Africa 004 20 meters 15 meters 10 meters I've got Madeira confirmed on 15 all right so you've got your worked and confirmed plenty of IOTAs to go at um, worked all zones let's have a look what we've done I've worked 25 of the 40 you see again what's worked and confirmed um, worked all continents let's have a look I'm missing Oceania as a QRP operator I will get it I will get worked all continents on QRP if it kills me um, just going back to the worked all states tab there we go you can see what I've done on what what bands what's worked and confirmed so what am I missing Alaska Arizona, District of Columbia, Delaware, Hawaii, Idaho, you can see the ones I'm missing. I've got quite a few. I will I will get them. This is interesting for me. You have a sorter tab. Summits on the air. I do chase sorter, as you can see on a on a VHF UHF on two meters. I've worked a few, a few on 70 cents as well. I don't chase on HF. Perhaps I should really. I get a few more different ones. Uh, what you can do is click on the link, uh, the, the summit reference, sorry, and see who you've worked. For instance, G Stroke LD007 Fairfield in the Lake District. I work G4OI G Stroke P on 2 meter SSB. Okay, you can see who you've worked. Lake District 001 Scarfell Pike. Quite interesting, I've worked that three times. The top one, M0BKQ Stroke P, Alistair, 25th of December. 2015 it was up there Christmas day 2 meter FM I think people will do it yeah white Christmas I don't know uh, let's have a look grid squares and if I click on the map we can see what I've done on the low power I've not done too bad there so yeah good login program really good so that's just a small brief demonstration of what log 4 m can do give it a go what I suggest you do is, if I go to the, the page, that's the Log4OM page, and you've got download there. Click on download. Log4OM is free. There you can get the actual version. You've got the manual, um, previous versions if you like. I really recommend that you download this, the quick start guide. That'll get you going. That'll get you cracking. Okay. What I'll do, I'll, I'll include a link at the bottom of the video for this. Right. So that's Log4OM, the login program. Give it a go. Thanks for watching. 73, all the best, Chris, M0RSF.